Hello everyone and welcome to another productivity vlog, although this one is titled introvert productivity vlog because I don't ever actually talk to the camera during this vlog, primarily because all of my fans were on the entire day because it was a very warm day but it was also raining, it was warm and humid. So I just didn't wanna deal with turning the fans off. And also I like to have days where if I can, just not really talk to anyone. I also had a cast party to attend at the end of the day that by the time I got to the end of the day, I was really anxious to go to. So I'm really glad I took the day to not really talk to that many people, but I tried to get a lot done at the same time. Throughout the video, you'll see my to-do list for the day. I don't get to everything and that's okay. I've mentioned in a couple of my videos, I have a lot of time on my hands, but I did start this day with a nice cup of coffee. I pulled out my fall mug with my little ghost on there and I'm drinking my pumpkin spice creamered coffee <laughs> and I started the day by writing some of that novel I mentioned that I was going to be working on in my last productivity vlog so on days that I write I try to do it first thing in the morning I just feel like I'm most creative in the morning I also had a workout class scheduled later in the morning so on this day I was up around 7 7.15 ish and I spent that time writing and just kind of waking up probably watched a YouTube video of some kind and now I'm getting ready for that workout class been catching up on Khadija's videos. I just really love to have them on in the background. And I'm all ready for my class. Got my new shorts on from Target that just are so functional for these types of workout classes. And on my walk, I have been listening to Lock Every Door through my Libby app. Gotta love those free audiobooks. After my workout class, I stopped at the grocery store, not to do a big grocery trip, but I needed to buy a couple of things for the party. Um, it was kind of a potluck sort of deal. I was out of coffee, almost out of coffee. I never want to get to the point where I'm out of coffee. That is not a happy Heather. And I'm so excited for Halloween. I am a spooky lover and just seeing all the Halloween candy and Halloween decor made me really happy. And I've been wanting some orange lights. So I got some of those. And now that I'm back home, I need to put away the few little groceries that I got and store the food that I got for the party in the fridge so it doesn't melt slash go bad in my, what was it? I think that day was 
87 degrees in my apartment, maybe like 65% humidity. It was pretty gross. <laughs> One thing that living in a small space has taught me is to put things away as soon as you bring them into your home. So that includes your groceries, trying to put them away as fast as possible. Obviously things need to go in the fridge, but also my grocery bags. So I have this big blue bag that I keep in my kitchen where I store my reusable bags and just extra bags and putting those away. It just, it's just one less thing to think about later. And it almost becomes kind of a domino chore, if you even want to call it a chore, just a habit, because, hey, I'm already in the kitchen. I notice I have dishes to do. I notice I have clean dishes to put away. Um, and then it all just kind of connects together. And you see, this is the extent of my kitchen counter. It's very small. My sink is very small. It becomes cluttered and looks dirty very quickly. So just getting them out of the way really doesn't take a lot of time. This whole clip before I sped it up was six minutes. So just getting that done feels really good. And it's something that can take up a lot more space in my brain than the amount of time that it takes up to actually do the thing, if that makes sense. Side note, I really like the Dawn Power Wash Spray. I know it's all over YouTube, but it is for a good reason. <laughs> I really like it. So washing my dishes is a chore that I just feel like I need to do every day. Tyler helps me out a lot with doing the dishes. He actually enjoys doing dishes, or at least he seems to enjoy doing dishes. He's expressed that he doesn't mind doing dishes. So um, I, I don't always leave it for him. I never expect it of him, but whenever he's over, he seems to just always do the dishes. Um, but aside from dishes, setting up my coffee maker for the next morning is a must. So I do it or Tyler does it. It just, it has to get done because the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is go to my coffee maker. I need it. I need it in my life. And just checking off the things that I was able to get from the grocery store. I didn't get everything, but that's okay. I think I need to go to grocery outlet or something and see if I can get things for less money. I just checked things off of my to-do list as well. And by this time I was pretty peckish. I'd had just like a little bar before the class. So I'm having a protein shake that I'm putting in a bowl because I want some granola and chia seeds on it. And again, the temperature in my apartment is was atrocious. It's a lot better now. So I've been having a lot of cold things just to try to keep my internal body temperature down as well. So I am going to just take a quick little break from trying to be productive. I'm going to eat my snack and finish watching a video from the financial diet because I've been trying to catch up on their videos too. So there's a lot that I had on my to-do list that was very computer centric. So there's stuff that I didn't film like updating my budget. I hadn't updated my budget spreadsheet or filled in um, all of my spending into my budget since towards the tail end of my trip to Montreal. So I really needed to do that. And then I've also been meaning to apply for global entry because now I'm obsessed with traveling abroad as much as possible. And that line at customs is a butt kicker. So if I can avoid that, <laughs> I wanna try. So I didn't film that, but the beginning of this clip at my computer, I just had to send off a quick email to one of my professors so that she could post the readings for next week on Canvas, because she hadn't done that yet. And then I am now just tackling some reading for my other class. And I'm curious if anyone else does this, when you know you have a reading assignment, especially for grad school where the assignments are very lengthy, do you ever go through and count how many pages you have to read and then sort of mentally count how many pages you have left as you're reading. Is that, that just me? Eh? Maybe you're, I'm right about to do that. That's why I ask. I wanted to keep that in there because this is real life. This is what I do. 
I'm counting. And these chapters were long. Um, yeah, they were, they were long, um, but I always put on some ambiance in the background. I'm trying to make it feel like fall. So I found like a jazzy, cozy coffee shop kind of vibe and had that on in the background. And after that first chapter, I needed a brain break. This is what I mentally refer to as my granny game, <laughs> which is probably ageist, but they, they use older female presenting humans in their advertisements so but I love it I'm I'm obsessed with it and then I couldn't get back to the reading I couldn't do it so partially I was distracted by how gross I felt it was so humid and my skin just felt really gross and sticky between my own sweat from the workout and then the humidity so I needed to shower it was on my list anyway so I just got it done. And then now I'm back to the second chapter I had to read. All told, each chapter took all about 50 minutes to read, but just kind of enjoying the rain-ish, like enjoying the sound of the rain, but not enjoying the humidity. As you can see, there's there are two fans right next to me there. And then, yeah, checking off my list. I signed up for Global Entry, updated my budget. I emailed my professor. And I did the school reading that I wanted to get done. So, yay. And at this point, I'm just jumping to finishing up, getting ready for the party. I was having a really bad body image day. I changed several times while I was getting ready. Um, and I'm just, I'm not really into wearing a lot of makeup anymore but I thought maybe I should put something on. So I threw on some mascara and lip gloss. And then I felt weird that I had lip gloss on. It just was weird. Anyway, checked those things off. I just checked off Puff's cast party because I knew I was going to do it because that's where I was going and checked off filming the vlog. So yeah, my outfit is not, it's not pan down worthy. I don't, I don't know anyway, but yeah, I'm obviously very nervous. I'm feeling so much anxiety, partially because of body image issues, partially because I just was in a very introverted space and did not want to be around a lot of people, but I took in a few deep breaths. I told myself I can tell them that I need to leave. It's not a big deal. Let me just go. Here we go. That's it. That was what I got done this past Friday. And you know, there were things left on the list. If you caught the last shot of my to-do list. And that's okay. Sometimes things roll over. Sometimes they roll over, over and over again. And eventually I get to it or I just decide, hey, I'm not doing this. Why am I not doing this? Do I need to do this? Just kind of reevaluate at that point. If you enjoyed this type of productivity vlog where I end up doing a voiceover at the end and it's just kind of chill, you just see what I'm doing. You see me checking things off my list. Give this video a thumbs up to let me know if there's anything specific you want to know like my writing process right now because i'm writing a book or my study process um put that in the comments and i'll see if i can make dedicated videos about that thank you so much for watching all i hope you are having a wonderful day i hope you're staying cool if you are in this heat wave like i am we're at the tail end of it but still I will see you all in my next video. Bye.